This Superman. movie is about two superheroes who um, had an epic battle um, between Samaritan and Nemesis, and one of them only survived. Sam, my character, um, he's kind of looking for that Samaritan because he, they need help in the city at that point. And he ends up finding him, and they have a crazy journey. Sam is a kid who grows up in a pretty rough environment um, with just his mom. His dad passed away at a very young age. Um, and he's always kind of looked for that father figure. And he finds that a little bit in Joe. And even though he annoys Joe a good bit, he, he keeps trying to be close with him and, you know, open up with him. And, was, and then they, they go through their own thing together, but yeah. So Samaritan, um, he was somebody who wanted to clean up the streets to just help people in general. And it's not even that Nemesis was a bad guy. It's that they, there can't be two superheroes. So Nemesis was kind of set into the bad role. But with Samaritan, he, he wanted to help people. And he, found, he, he wanted just to benefit everything around him. You know, he wanted to make things better. Because at the time, uh, Granite City was really messed up. Um, Samaritan Nemesis had a crazy battle, and only one survived. So, I think I would call it a superhero film because it shows that it's not about superheroes wearing capes or these cool flashy suits. It it shows the rawness of it and it shows the imperfections because you look at superheroes and you're like, oh, that's perfect, you know, like these superheroes are absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with them, you know, so it, it shows the grittiness and imperfections of the superheroes. And I, I think that still makes it a superhero movie for sure. So Sam suspects that Joe is actually Samaritan. He has like this whole thing in his room and he goes through all of these different people, right? And he's like, all right, so that wasn't Samaritan. I'm gonna look for this guy. And when he meets Joe at the playground, he starts to follow him a little bit and even breaks into his apartment. He, he does some pretty crazy stuff to see if it's really Samaritan. Man, working with Sly, it was a lot of fun. We talked a lot about boxing. Um, man, and even just like being able to act with him, like um, he showed me like improv a little bit better like on set, cause like that was like the first time I was able to like really improv on a project that I've done. And just to be able to like know that he had that experience and there's things I can take away from him was really cool. I think Sam is so obsessed with Samaritan, not only because he absolutely loves superheroes and loves comics and likes doing all that and drawing comics and all that, but that he wants that father figure, you know? And then when he finds Joe, he gets that a little bit because at the end of the day, he only has his mom. And along the way on his journey, he meets some people that are gonna better him and that are definitely there to take things from him. So. He, he wants that guidance, that, you know, that's, that's street smart, like Joe. Pilo, he plays Cyrus, and um, Cyrus is a nemesis lover. He loves, he loves nemesis, you know, like that's like, that's like his guy. Um, and he gets a little bit of power from you know, the hammer and all that, and just goes absolutely rogue. Like, that was like the last little string of it. But um, working with him was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed working with him. He was a great actor, and there was a lot of things I could take away from him, you know, like um, uh, just his acting ability just in general. Um, facial expressions, the way he got into character and scene, um, before the scene, and um, even like taking a second before really intense scenes he taught me, which was really nice. I 
think what made Pelu the perfect per uh, person to play Cyrus was he got that crazy eyes, you know, and um, all the other projects he's done, like his acting ability uh, is through the roof. Like he killed it on Game of Thrones, you know, he, everything he's done, he, he's done a great job at. So he was definitely perfect for the part. So Dasha, she plays Tiffany, and she is Sam's mom. She only wants what's best for him. Sam gets into a good bit of trouble, and he's really just looking out for his mom, you know? But she doesn't like that he's taking money from um, Cyrus and stuff like that for doing certain tasks and trying to pay rent for her. She doesn't like that at the end of the day, but he only wants what's best for her, and she only wants what's best for him. I think what audiences can expect is definitely like a touching, heartwarming, but also like insane action scenes. Like my favorite action scene is when they flipped the a dump truck. Like that was crazy to watch. And knowing that there was like somebody actually driving for that, like that was insane. I love that one though. That was really cool. It's like a different kind of superhero movie. Like it isn't like your ordinary superhero movie and it shows that not all heroes wear capes, which I really like, you know, and um, the special relationship between Joe and Sam, um, that their bond becomes really close and, and it's really cool to see.